Four years from now, do you think we will be better off with Trump as president or with Kamala as president? 100% Trump. By the way, which I've never been a Trump supporter. For many years, I've been an independent. So this is what I wrote. I'm an independent. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I understand the true nature of today's mainstream legacy media, mm -hmm. and that is not to truthfully inform, but to lead the American people into either the left or right. Yes. It's a broken system. Mm -hmm. I take in information from all sides, and I follow a lot of independent journalists who provide unbiased facts and reports about topics or situations. When someone on the left says something good or valuable, I applaud it. When someone on the right says something good or valuable, I applaud it. The two-party system is a scam, and I really wish they wouldn't destroy the chances of a third-party candidate, as they did with RFK this election. Mm -hmm. We Americans have two options, and I'm not excited about either of them. However, the Democratic Party has consistently been showing us that their party isn't even run by the president in office. And they are the biggest threat to the following three issues. Freedom of speech which they continuously try to censor information mm -hmm. and destroy social media platforms they do not have control over. X is a good example. Mm -hmm. Peace. The Democrats used to be the party of peace. Mm -hmm. Currently, they're the ones propagating and continuing wars. War criminal unanimously that every party for many years has seen Dick Cheney as a war criminal now endorsing Kamala. And she came on and said she was honored. To me, that's not something to be proud of. Right. Republican Dick Cheney, though. Correct. Okay. Under the Bush administration. Correct. And now he's supporting Kamala. You will get no disagreements here. The guy's right. a big POS. And Absolutely. so if you if you study him and what he's done, why is he endorsing Kamala? Because he's going to continue to profit off of war. Mm -hmm. Number three, inflation. Mm -hmm. I don't even got to explain that. Is Most that, Americans know how bad it is right now. That's a whole other episode. It, it's yeah. bad. Okay. It's bad. Yeah. I'm not emotionally attached to a candidate in this election, nor do I care for them as individuals. Mm -hmm. But at this point in time, I only see one option that is essential to the betterment of the American people, and that is voting Trump. You can disagree with me all you want. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. We're all entitled to our own opinions. I just hope that this country doesn't go down a path that leads to authoritarianism mm -hmm. and totalitarianism. Hoping for a prosperous future for all good, hardworking people. That's so a great written speech. Thank you, man. It covers a lot of topics and it really does express. And so those are my three biggest things but, I care about. Those three things. Yeah. And I do think that the current administration and yeah. they've proven to show that they are a threat to those three things. Peace, inflation, freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. If we don't have that, we're going to fall into a very controlled society where the people don't have a voice.